G'day again out there in Freeman land. There seems to be so much confusion uh, with the the identity, the born, the birth. Uh, let's see if we can clear it up a bit more, um, a bit better in this uh, short video presentation that I'm about to do. Now what, uh, what we're going to look at, as always, is the words that get us into the system and what we can discover from the words that they use against us. So we're going to have a look at uh, how the birth process begins and see what each different word means. And this may help us come to the final conclusion. So contractions, uh, this is what starts the, uh, the birth process is contractions. Now, what they're telling you is what's going to happen to you once you uh, once the baby is born they're going to actually contract the name or shorten the name from master by taking out the a s t e and so that you're left with m r and you become mister or mistress you become m s miss all right the next part is the waters break now this also is an alluding, they're alluding to, we're going to be put under maritime law, or we're going to come under the laws of the water. And once again, it's confirmed here, because once the waters break, the baby enters the birth canal. Now, when a ship comes into harbour, they're birthed. They've only changed the E and the I, so the birth and the the uh, the birthing of the ship and the birth of the baby are the same thing. So what they're telling us is that they're going to do certain things to get us under their maritime laws. Now the next thing that you'll notice is that um, the baby is born in the delivery room. So we need to find out what a delivery room is. <clears throat> and once again, this deals with contracts or conveyancing. And conveyancing, uh, if you uh, really want to know, and I must say here, unless um, unless I put it on the screen, every every definition that I use in this presentation is from Bovier's Online Law Dictionary. So, um, a conveyancing is the transferring of the title to land by one person to another person. Now, a person can be either a natural person or a corporation. So, conveyancing is the transferring of the title. Okay, now delivery is the transferring of a deed from the grantor to the grantee in such a manner as to deprive him of the right to recall it. Or the delivery may be made and accepted by an attorney. This is indispensably necessary to the validity of a deed, except it be in the deed of a corporation, which, however, must be executed under the common seal. So this is how they get around it. They say that if they're acting as a corporation, all they need to do is use their common seal. But although, it, as a general rule, the delivery of a deed is essential to its perfection, it is never a in pleading. We're not too much worried about the last bit there, but what they do is we are the only ones that actually can sign. So when they're dealing with us as corporations and they're acting as corporations, they use their common seal to do it. So let's now look at the uh, the next part uh, that happens in the birth process, and that is the baby is wheeled off into the maternity ward. Once again, we need to look at these words. The state or condition of a mother, it is either legitimate or natural. The former is the condition of the mother who has given birth to legitimate children, while the latter is the condition of her who has given birth to illegitimate children. Right, they're telling us there that we're going to be made illegitimate children. So well, let's look at the last word there, maternity ward. Ward, domestic relations, an infant placed by authority of law under the care of a guardian. They're telling us what's going to happen to us here. Everything that they're telling us in the birth process tells us in these few words. Now the next part is even more um, uh, it throws more light onto it. While under the care of a guardian, a ward can make no contract whatever binding upon him. They're telling us we won't be able to make a contract uh, binding upon us because we're a ward of the state, except for necessaries. Now, this is very important. If you are on a um, 
on some kind of benefit, um, a solo person's benefit or anything, the necessities of life or your needs must be cared for. So you, if you have a need and you go into social welfare and you say, this is a necessity of life and I need it, not I want it, I need it, they must provide it because you are under, you are under their guardianship. So um, use that to your benefit. When the relation of guardian and ward ceases, the latter is entitled to have an account of the administration of his estate from the former. Now, this is what we're hoping to achieve with this um, presentation. Once we get our freedom, they must give us account of the administration of our estate. Now, this is um, when it's time to register your child. This is the uh, department you're going to be dealing with in New Zealand. This is other places have um, uh, different different uh, names for them, but you, you'll find them all online. Google uh, helps you out, no no doubt. Okay, this is this comes directly from their site, how to register your birth, and then it tells us what a birth certificate is. A birth certificate is an official document containing registered information about a person's birth. You may obtain a certificate by providing the required details and paying the certificate fee. Certificates can be used for purposes such as getting a driver's license, enrolling at school, applying for welfare benefits. Ooh, I might have a word to say on that in a minute, but uh, let's have a look at this a bit more clearly because we can't, you might not be able to read it there. So, by law, both per parents of a child born in New Zealand must jointly notify births, deaths and marriages as soon as reasonably practical after the birth, but generally within two months. So they're telling you, you must register your children. But now let's, let's look at the difference between birth and born, because the whole idea of this uh, presentation is that we need to know who we are. Birth is in the law dictionary. So if it's in the law dictionary, it means the law society has incorporated any words into the law dictionary, then they have sold rights to those words and they use them against us. And this is what the courts are for. They are only there to interpret words and to settle arguments. So birth is in the law dictionary. It's one of their invented words. So we need to be careful of any words that are in their law dictionaries. Birth. The act of being wholly brought into the world, the whole body must be detached from that of the mother in order to make the birth complete. But if a child be killed with design and maliciously after it has wholly come forth from the body of the mother, although still connected with her by means of the umbilical cord, it seems that such killing will be murder. Yeah, it's a bit strange that. Um, may take a bit more looking at that, but there may be something in it. However, born is not in the law dictionary. Now, this one here, I've gone to the Oxford dictionaries. Go to any online dictionary. It's the easiest way to um, to find the words. Um, born adjective existing as a result of birth. She was born in Aberdeen. I was born with a sense of security. Okay, so they're telling you born, born is different to birth, but it's a result of birth. And this is why when our parents fill out the registration form, they must fill out the date born and where born. And you'll find that on your printout. It will have your date born and your where born. So let's look at the different processes now. When your parents register the child as being born, the registrar issues a certificate. Now we read that on their site just a little bit before. But on the bottom of the certificate is a warning not to be used as a means of identification. Yet on the website, they're telling you that you needed to get your driver's licenses, etc. OK, but the, the bottom of the certificate tells us it's not to be used as identification. And this is what we're looking at. Our born identity, are we not? The certificate is what they use to conduct commerce. And if we use it, we must suffer the consequences. You must take the good with the bad when you go into the public system or the birth system. Now, on the other side of the ledger, we are born. So to become free, we must use the form which shows that we were born. And that is your printout. We must obtain a copy of our printout 
Now, that, this is in New Zealand. In Australia and England, it is the extract. And in Canada, it's the certificate of live birth. Now, both these certificates, both the, um, the printout and the birth certificate, are on security paper. Now, there is the biggest clue that I can give you is that they are both on security paper, meaning they are registered securities with the Treasury. Bear that in mind. So whenever an agent for the corporation wishes to do business with us, the first thing they must do is gain our consent. Now, they do this by sending us letters or invitations to attend their courts or any of the other myriad of reasons that they get to get us into commerce. And if we don't know the rules, we end up, play, we end up paying. But on the private side, however, the born side, this is the private side of ledger and the corporation do not want us to know about this side. While we have evidence to prove that this side exists, accessing it is the hard part. But we're going to have a go. Once the agent for the corporation has our consent, either by ignorance, power of attorney or dishonor, then they order a copy of our birth certificate. The birth certificate is printed on security paper and the agent then fills out the back in the correct manner, puts the correct stamps on it and floats it onto the money markets. And this is how their money is created. Every time they come to us uh, to take us to court or any other thing, they will go and order a copy of our birth certificate. And if you do a Freedom of Information Act, you will find that this is the case. However, on the private side, to operate in this side of ledger, we must use our printout and fill out the back correctly. Pay the stamp duty and send it to either the Treasury or the tax collectors. Now, each country has their um, own, um, in America, it's the IRD. Um, uh, in Australia, it's the Australian Tax Office. Oh, sorry, in America, it's IRS. In New Zealand, it's IRD. And Australia is the Australian Tax Office. Okay, but to operate on this side, you're going to have to have a sound knowledge of the Bills of Exchange Act and the Stamp Duties Act will be needed to operate successfully on that side. Now, I'm going to give you one example of an agent doing business with us. When we go to the bank for a loan, they only need two things from us, and that's a power of attorney, and they need to make us the customer. Now, to do that, they will get us to sign a loan agreement. And this is what I must now tell you. While everyone has been misled into believing that that original note or the loan agreement that we signed is the key to uncovering bank fraud, it most certainly isn't. Once the banks have our power of attorney and you are the customer, they order a copy of your birth certificate. And that's the instrument that we need to be asking for because they fill out the instructions on the bank, the back of the birth certificate. And that is the that is what goes on to the bond markets. Forget about asking for the original note. If if you want to do something with the original note, cancel the power of attorney on that original note and make yourself the bank, not the customer. But if you want to find out where your loan document is, you will find it's the birth certificate that is out there trading on the markets. I can put money on that. Okay, so now we start to undo the mess. Every document, contract or privilege that was obtained using our birth certificate must now be rescinded or given back. The first document needs to be looked at is the birth certificate and how we can go about returning that, okay? Because this is the warehouse keeper's receipt. Now, the bailey in possession is the person that holds this, um, our property, and so we need to return it to the bailey in possession, okay? While well, I've seen many different ways, the most simple way may be to surrender it. So let's look at what surrender means. It's, once again, it's conveyancing, estates conveyancing, a yielding up on, of an estate for life or years to him who has an immediate estate in reversion or remainder, by which the lesser estate is merged in the greater by mutual agreement. A surrender is of a nature directly opposite to release, so they're not releasing us, because a release operates by the greater estate descending upon the less. 
but the former is the falling of a less estate into a greater by deed. So we need a deed of surrender and a, a surrender immediately divests the estate of the surrenderer and vests it in the surrenderee. That seems like the correct way to do it as far as I can see. Now, this is just a bit more of uh, from out of both years on uh, surrender. The technical and proper words of this conveyance are surrender and yield up. Those are the words you want to be using. So I will put a document on the next um, slide so that you can see the surrender and yield up. The surrender may be expressed or implied. The latter is when a state incompatible with the existing estate is accepted or the leasee takes a new lease of the same lands. So let's have a look. Here's a deed of surrender that I did up. And um, you'll see somewhere on there that I've... Um, Oh, it, one of the important parts, I hope you can read this clearly out there, is with clean hands and equity. We can do it with clean hands and equity. They cannot. All right, so um, have, a, have a good good read of that. Just uh, pause, the, um, pause the slide or take a screenshot is probably the easiest way. If you don't know how to take a screenshot, um, um, go to Google and... Um, Press and take screenshot, and you should be able to take a screenshot of that. Okay, once we have surrendered our birth certificate, the name which has been the cause of our grief will become obsolete, and we will now submit our printout so that may, we may operate under our identity, our born identity. Wonder what they were trying to tell us in this movie. Born identity. Now, here's, here's a guy who didn't know who he was, wandering around lost. And I think what they're trying to tell us in this movie is, hey, go looking and see that you were born, not birthed. And uh, maybe that's the message behind this movie. I'll leave that to you. But a, a few words of caution. The system that the corporation runs is extremely efficient and, efficient and has many checks and balances. Now, do not venture anger at public servants. These are guys sitting on the counter who don't know anywhere near the amount of stuff that I'm putting out in these videos. So don't go venting your anger at them. Ask for help. And when, whenever you ask for help from them, ask them three times. So, you know, may I see your supervisor? May I see your supervisor? You know, always refer any private matters to the chief financial officer or chief, chief executive officer in person, okay? Do it personally and do it in the private. Always ask to speak to them in private. We need to correct the record to show that we are correctly identified, i.e. not a name. We need an identity. We need our born identity. We don't need a name. All right, so if we're going to be doing anything, this is what we need to put on all our documents. Now, you can buy those stamps already made, private and confidential, and I certainly have one of those and have used it for many years. I also have a seal um, so that I can sign on behalf of the corporation, which is my All Capitals Corporation. So you need to start um, investing in just a little bit uh, to make sure that you've got everything right when you're doing this. But now the key to the whole matrix is to do the reverse to what we have been indoctrinated to do. And this is this is the whole key to it, is share your information with everyone and do not charge them for it. Get this information out, give it away freely and help others because we're on a spiritual, a spiritual mission here, not an argumentative mission. We're here to set the world free. All the best.